Hey everybody, it's Roy from ANS Gear and we're gonna look at some product today that it's actually kind of two different things today. So we have got a Boremaster kit, which is here, but we've also got a complete barrel kit, which is everything together. So let's look at the Boremaster kit first. So this is the um, the Freak XL Boremaster kit or the GOG XL Boremaster kit. It's the same kind of setup, uh, same thing. It comes in this nice carbon fiber case. We'll open it up and we'll see what inserts you get. So, oh, uh, if you're not familiar with an insert kit, I guess maybe we should talk about what an insert kit is. So in paintball, the best possible accuracy and performance you can get out of your gun is gonna be determined mostly by how well the ball and the barrel are working together as one unit. Now, if you look at the side of your box, your paintball box, it's going to say it's a 68 caliber paintball, but they don't tell you that it varies tremendously within that 68 caliber name range. So what they've done is they've created a system where you can adjust the inner bore size of your barrel to fit whatever paintball size you're shooting. So that 0.68 caliber box of paintball you pick up could actually be a 0.684 bore size. The better your ball fits your barrel, the better the performance of the gun shooting the ball out of it will be. So they make this kit where you have all of these different insert sizes so you can accommodate any size paintball that you are shooting, no matter where you pick it up or what the weather team seems to be or whatever field you're at that has a certain kind of paint. Hopefully you can find an insert that fits that ball. Now, what we would do is, I'm going to pull some of this out of here. Now this is reball. So this is a, a very small bore sized ball. The stock bore master kit comes with, um, what is it? Uh, eight inserts, I believe, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, eight inserts starting at a six, seven, nine. So this is actually smaller than what the box would say, which is six, eight. This is 679, 682, 684, 687, 689, 691, so then above the 68 caliber size, 693, 695. Now there are other inserts that you can buy that are even smaller than this 679 bore size. So the reball actually bores out at about a 675. So even smaller, and they make a specific insert for this size ball. Um, I believe it's a purple insert. I shoot it all the time downstairs, so yeah, it's purple. Um, and if we put that in there, you can see that this ball rolls right through still. The perfect setup that you would want for a ball is a ball that you could push into the end of your insert, and it would not fall out. You should be able to push it in, and you should push the ball to here, and it doesn't roll through. Um, I don't think I have any regular paint out here. Do we have any regular paint over there, Brandon? No. No? It's all reball? Yeah, let me see that one. Now, I'm not sure what ball this is or what brand it is. It could be HK paint. But let me just see how this fits. See that one? Yeah. That. Roll, so I think this is HK tournament paint, and it is even smaller than a 679. So maybe 677 or whatever. So I would need a smaller insert for that as well. So either here nor there, but that's how you would set it up. You would go in there and check. You would take your bag of paint, you would pull out a couple balls, and you would start dropping it into the inserts. And you would see which insert it fit into by just pushing it in. Now you shouldn't need to struggle. You shouldn't be like Rawr! just jamming that thing in there hoping it goes in, you should be able to easily push that ball in there and then just blow it, not, not hard, just a good puff of air and that ball should go boom and come right out. If you can do that, that's perfect. That's exactly what you want. You don't want a ball that rolls through and you don't want a ball that you can't blow out. Because imagine a ball being stuck in there that hard and your gun pushing all this air behind it, it's gonna just blow it up when it tries to push it out of there or a ball that can just roll right out, all that air that's supposed to hit that ball and push it, it's gonna be able to go around that ball, underneath that ball, and you're gonna lose some of that air force to push that ball out, 
and you could have to actually make your gun a little less efficient because you'll have to increase the pressure in your gun to accommodate for the pressure you're losing trying to push the ball out of there. So you're overworking the gun to accommodate for a loss of air. There's all sorts of things that can happen with it. So having a kit where you can fit the ball perfectly will improve the performance of your marker. Okay, barrel kits, that's what they do. Bore master kit, that's what it does. You cannot though, just take this bore master kit and throw it into any barrel you want. You need to have a barrel system that works with this particular bore master kit. And that's what we have here. So we have the Freak 14 inch carbon fiber XL barrel right here. Now you can buy this as a kit where it comes with this barrel. It comes with the adapter that goes on the back. So whether you're shooting an autococker threaded barrel or an ion threaded barrel or some other threaded barrel, whatever it happens to be, this backside has the right threads on it to go into your gun. Now, let's say we took our paint, we pulled it all out, and we ended up with a ball that fit this 684 insert right here. We would take our 684 insert, we would slide it in to our freak barrel, we would take our threaded back assembly and screw it on. These are reverse threaded, so they don't accidentally come off of your gun when you're turning. Um, and then we would thread this onto the gun. Now we've got a perfect bore size on the inside of our barrel to perfectly shoot out whatever paint we have. You come to the field the next weekend and you realize that, oh, now I have to shoot some other paint. Well, that paint is now really big. We need a 691, take our 691 insert, put that in there, put our adapter on, thread it together. And again, now we have the perfect barrel for that paint. This comes in really handy if you um, are always trying out different kinds of paint, you like to see what's shooting or what paint shoots what way. To be able to accommodate your barrel or adjust your barrel to fit whatever paint you're shooting is by far one of the best things you can do for your paintball marker. Above any other upgrade that you can do, I always, always shoot a barrel kit in my guns. If you see me testing guns downstairs and like our Instagram stuff, I am almost always shooting some sort of kit barrel. Um, it, to get the best performance, you really have to run that way. Um, there are other ways to do it. Obviously, you can get a bunch of different barrel backs for other barrels that uh, allow you to, uh, to change the bore size, but this is the easiest way to do it. I definitely recommend picking one of these up. The Freak XL Bore Master Kits, in conjunction with the barrel, buy them in a total kit, they will drastically improve how your marker performs. Get it at ansgear.com.